welcome back to my channel and this is a tutorial on how to draw a body. First we are going to take our ruler and we are going to draw a straight line right down the middle. Now from here we are going to draw 9 horizontal lines on the straight line and we're going to leave a one inch gap in between. If you don't have an inch ruler, then remember that one inch equals to 2.54 centimeters. Measure these lines out like so, creating faint marks. Once everything has been marked up, draw these lines out on both ends. Make sure that they're equal to each other and that all the measurements are the same. This will help keep our body proportionate. To make this easier for ourselves, we are going to number the 9 different sections, starting from 1 here, going all the way down to 9. Feel free to pause the video to draw this all out. Now starting from number 1, we are going to draw the face. On the first line, draw a circle like this. Now from this circle, we're going to draw a V shape that connects to both ends of the circle. Draw this out like so. To add some extra detail to the face, draw a line across that meets to the point of the circle and the V shape. From here, we can draw some little ears. Between the first and second line, draw a line that goes halfway through. From here, we're going to mark up certain points like so, as this is where our shoulder blades are going to go. Make sure to use your ruler like so to measure that there are equal length from each other. this side I'm going to quickly label that this is the shoulder blades to make it easier while following this tutorial. Now on this line between the third and fourth cap we're going to draw more markings um, that are slightly smaller from the first markings we did as this is where our waistline is going to go. Again, use your ruler to measure out so that way it's equal to each other. I'm going to quickly label the waistline to make this easier. Now from the shoulder blades towards the waistline, we're going to draw a line like this to connect them both together. This is the upper half of our body drawn. Now on the line between the fourth and the fifth gap, I am going to label the hips like so. The hips are the same length as the shoulder blades. This will help to create an hourglass figure onto our body. Measure out the shoulder blades like so and create the exact same markings on the hips.
Now from the waistline we're going to connect this towards the hip line but this time around we're going to connect it with a slight curve. Now remember that the waist is in a straight line so we're going to draw a bit of a curve like so. Now between the 6th and 7th line, I'm going to label where the knee joints go. And now between the 8th and the 9th line, this is where our ankles are going to go. Now on the knee joints, leave a tiny gap like so and create a circle on top of the line like this. Now mimic the same exact thing on the other side. Now on the 8th and the 9th line, we're going to leave the same amount of gap but this time we're going to create a smaller circle like so. Make sure you mimic this on the other side. Now on top of the hip line, we're going to draw a line that goes through like this. This is where our pelvis is going to go. In the fourth and fifth line, we're going to create some markings like so. Then from the line we just created, we're going to draw these two markings together with another curve. Make sure you do this both equally on both sides. Now from the hips we're going to join this towards the knee joints. Remember it's a curve that goes outwards that then slants towards inwards like so. Do the same thing inwards on this side like so and remember that thighs usually have a thigh gap. Here I'm going to speed up this video as we're going to do the same thing on the other side. Now from the knee joints we're going to create the same curve. Remember it starts off as outwards that goes inwards and connect this towards the ankles. Here I'm going to speed up the video a bit as we're going to do the same thing on the other side. Remember that all your measurements need to be equal. Now it's time to draw out our feet. From the ankles we're going to create a vertical line that goes downwards like this. we're going to create two other lines to create a more trapezium like shape. Draw this out like so. Last but not least we're going to draw a curve at the bottom like so. Now it's time to complete the rest of the upper body. From the face we're going to draw a neck like this. from the neck we're going to draw a downward curve like so connecting it towards the shoulder blades now it's time to draw our arms on the waistline I'm going to quickly label that this is where the elbows will go Now 
from the shoulder blades we're going to draw a vertical line that goes down up to the line between the third and fourth gap. Now on top of these lines we just created, draw a circle like this as this is going to be our elbows. On the hip line, we're going to draw another horizontal line like this. This is where the wrist of our hands will go. Again, draw tinier circles like so. Going back to the shoulder blade, we're going to draw a curve like this that curves outwards and goes inwards towards the elbows. Make sure you do this on the other side. Now starting from the line that's in between the second and third, we're going to draw another line that extends towards the elbows like this. it's time to go back to the wrists make sure that they're in a curve like position starting from the elbows we're going to connect it to the wrist remember it's an outward curve that slightly goes inwards towards the end make sure you do this on both sides and make sure that they're equal towards each other here I'm going to speed up the process a bit with the other arm it's time to draw the hands. Draw a trapezium shape again similarly to how we done with the feet and do this on both sides. Now we're going to draw a triangular shape like so then connect this upwards and finally draw a bit of a curve when connecting it to the other line creating a thumb. Now remember that your hands are the same size as your face so make sure that your hands are proportionate towards that. Last but not least, we're going to add a few more details on the chest area as well as the neck. Draw out a line like this and then draw an outer line like so for the chest area. As for the neck, create an inward tick like this, starting from the left side going to the right. Now our sketch of our body is fully complete. Using a black pen, I'm going to outline this sketch and then I'm going to rub out the markings. And here is your completed drawing of the body. Thank you for watching, subscribe and like for more videos and tutorials, comment for more video ideas and I'll see you next time.